Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS video tutorial series. My name is Sean and today <clears throat> we're going to look at another new feature that we added today called uh, the body background. Um, up until now, if you wanted to, when you design a page with uh, Photoshop and use a PST to CSS online to convert it, um, you get a page that's the size of your design. And you can center it, of course, but outside of <clears throat> outside of your design, uh, unless you write some code, it's all white. And so uh, today we added the body background uh, layer naming convention. You make a new layer, <clears throat> excuse me, in your Photoshop design, and uh, and name it with the uh, body bg underscore body bg uh, layer naming convention, and that becomes a repeating texture for the back of the whole page. No matter how wide your browser is, it'll be a texture behind everything, uh, from from edge to edge, top to bottom. So uh, let me show you how you use that. So let's see. We'll go into Photoshop here. Here's Photoshop. And I have a design that I've already started. Oops, that's what it looks like, but let's put it in Photoshop. And as you can see, it's pretty narrow. So if, if I go ahead and convert this, uh, actually, here, let's take the trick out first. We'll do it without that. So here, I'll file, save it. So this is just a standard, very simple page, very narrow. If I go ahead and convert it at the PSD to CSS online, I'll choose my Photoshop file and and upload it. Uh, you'll see that it will, in fact, make a very narrow page uh, that's centered, uh, but it's very narrow, and uh, it's kind of disconcerting that the edges are all white. Um, it's taking a little while here. Probably somebody else is converting something. Our servers get full. Uh, let's see. So here we go. It's finished, and here's the new page that it generated. And sure enough, <clears throat> excuse me, looks just like uh, the Photoshop design, but there's that those big ugly white spaces on the edge. So uh, what we're going to do, oops, showed you the, the end right there for a moment. Uh, what we're going to do is make a new layer to make this background, body background layer. We'll make a new one. And for this case, what we're going to do is take a, uh, a very tall and narrow slice out of the side here. And uh, the background texture that uh, body background makes gets repeated, uh, both vertically and horizontally. But if it's really tall, you're not even going to see the vertical uh, repeating. But the horizontal repeating is important. If I take a very narrow slice of this, um, it'll repeat across the whole page and uh, just look like this blue gradient gets. Uh, will, it will look like the blue gradient has been just extended to the edges. Uh, so the way we'll do that is we'll go ahead and select. I guess we want to have the one with the actual information selected. So uh, there we go. We'll, we'll select that la that uh, section of, of the blue layer, background center JPEG, and we will copy it. And then in our new empty layer that we just made, we will paste. And there you go. So now we've got this new layer that has nothing in it but this real tall, skinny blue. We'll take a look. So all we can see is that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. See, it's very, very narrow. And that's exactly what we want. So what we have to do over here, though, uh, as always, the trick, this is my body back BG. I'm also going to make it JPEG because PNG files are big, and there's no reason for that to be a JPEG. I mean, a PNG. But here here we go. That's, that's the trick. I made uh, a new layer, and I named it with the underscore body BG and uh, the layer naming convention. Um, and that's that's the whole trick, really. Uh, so you saw it, PSD to CSS Online, convert this file um, and not have any uh, any background repeating textures. Now we just added one very easily. I'll save the file again. Go back to, uh, oh, gave it away again. Go back here and we'll try it again. We'll choose our file now that we've updated it. And upload the file, and you'll see that this time, PSD to CSS Online will create the repeating background texture for us. And, uh, and of course, we didn't have to write any code at all. So there we go. Now it's much, much wider. It goes all the way to the edges. Even if I maximize my browser, we have that nice gradient all the way to the edges. 
So that was pretty easy, and that's all there is to it. Now you don't have to have the, uh, the horrible white background for uh, all your pages anymore. You can use this to uh, to put a texture in the background like we did here. You can use it to make a solid color. If you make a very small little uh, body background uh, layer, just you know, 8 pixels by 8 pixels, something very tiny, and make it a solid color, uh, that that will wrap and be the background texture for the background color for your uh, for your page. That's not really the most optimum way to do that. Generally, you would use a, a body background, uh, a body uh, CSS tag uh, with a color uh, identifier in it. Uh, but it certainly works, and uh, it's very much consistent with uh, this notion of designing your whole web page in Photoshop and just converting it and having it work. So, um, so there you go. Here, this this is the uh, the same thing made that uh, is the tutorial, the example on the website. I just put some more useful text in it. But as you can see, it's exactly the same thing. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, another pretty simple one. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to email me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, the quality of the video on YouTube is kind of poor. So there is a high resolution version of this same exact video uh, right on the website uh, on the tutorial page. So uh, please feel free to visit and check it out. Check out the other tutorials while you're there. And uh, have fun. Thanks.